Hey guys, Dre Avent back for part two with Rams cornerback Marcus Roberson. We're here at the Rosenthal Wine Club hanging out in Malibu. We really love it here. Great place to relax. We were over at the beach, it started raining, but we made a change and we're doing big things over here now at the Rosenthal Wine Club. So Marcus, I wanna talk a little bit about your personality. I know this is something you don't get to talk about in other interviews and interviews that I do. On the sidelines, I don't get to delve into this. So tell me about your hobbies. What are you into off the field? What can people expect you to do when you're not playing football? I like the bowl. Okay. Not, are you good? I'm not the best bowler, but I just like the I mean, the thrill it gives you, you know, okay. competing against your friends and things like that. And I like to fish. Really? Have you caught any big ones? Like, what, I mean, what are we working with here? Catch yellow jacks and things like that on the pair back where I'm from. Okay. Um, and just basketball every now and then. Oh, very cool. So we learned he likes to bowl. So you may see Marcus out the bowling alley and you watch out because he's going to get those strikes and he's yeah. going to make it happen. <laughs> so now I want to do the three minute play with DA. I know I've gotten a lot of good feedback from you guys on this segment. So it's rapid fire questions, Marcus. You just tell me the first thing that comes to mind. Best thing about LA so far? The weather. Well, <laughs> except for today. But usually, yes, the weather is amazing here. What was your craziest memory at Florida in college that you can say on camera? Like what was a memory that just really stands out from the college days, rocking it with your teammates or maybe it was with um, other friends? I know that's a great place to go to school. It wasn't really no crazy okay. moments there, but okay, low key. I can remember there was a time we went to the Sugar Bowl my sophomore mm -hmm. year and it was a good experience down in New Orleans. It was a great time. Very cool. Very cool. We'll just leave it at that. Great time. We can all pretty much surmise <laughs> what happened from there. Best hype music. I know that a lot of guys I talk to in the NFL, they listen to something before the games, get them real crunk. What is that for you? Um, I like to listen to Lil Wayne a lot. Yeah, That's my I like favorite him too. rapper. Yeah. So I listen to all his type of music, you know, he has a different variety of different styles and in one. So I yeah. listen to Lil Wayne a lot. Yeah, I get hype on Lil Wayne as yeah. well. <laughs> What's the best piece of advice someone's given you in your life? It could be mm. about football, it could just be about anything. And who was that person? Um, all in all, my mother mm -hmm. and just staying focused mm -hmm. and don't get distracted because it's a lot of deception where I'm from. Yeah. There's a lot of deception out here in L.A. too, so you better, you know, I talked to you about that. I mean, it's Be okay. ready. It's okay, you know, but I stay in my lane and I just focus on my job. It's not a vacation for me. No, know? it's not, and I really admire, like I mentioned in part one, just your dedication to your footwork and all the videos I've been seeing. I mean, you're playing no games with your training, and I think a lot of Rams fans are really going to appreciate that. Favorite athlete that's not a football player? Mayweather. Okay, no, why are we why are we rocking with Mayweather? He worked hard, you know. I, I heard from a friend, he saw him train one time, and he said he the guy had trained three hours straight, you know, and wow. just go hard. Yeah, so he just goes hard. Do you like his confidence as well? Yeah, most definitely, but I'm a little more chill, you know, okay. but I respect him a lot. Okay, yeah, I, I noticed on your Instagram you're into art as well. Yeah. What's the best thing about the art world to you, and what do you like about that? I mean, it just intriguing to me you know I just like to put my mind in a different area yeah. you know and just get ideas for my tattoos as you can see I like tattoos. I know yeah, I love tattoos so yeah I want to be a walking canvas yeah well you <laughs> certainly are and that's something that um, I mentioned to you when I first started talking to you about different things is your tattoos so let everybody know what is your favorite tattoo you've got a lot of them so if we had to pick one it's narrowed down to one what's the number one tattoo uh, my mother name says Vanessa right there. Oh, it's right here? Yeah. With a heart around it. Okay. Yeah. Very detailed. Yeah. All right. Well, appreciate it, Marcus. Thank you so much for hanging out. And you guys, make sure you keep a lookout for part one and part two. Dre Ava, Marcus Roberson, Malibu, California. <laughs>